Hi, this is Raven. I've had quite a few subscribers request that I create a tutorial on how to add custom sound clips into Armour for various purposes. So I thought it was best to create a tutorial just focusing on sound clips and then when you know how to do it you can add it to whatever you're trying to achieve. So if that's in-game audio or audio clips for intros and outros that kind of thing whatever you're doing so i'll divide into two halves the first half we're going to look at getting the clip and editing and then the second half we're going to look at putting that clip into armor and using it so what i've got here is just a real um, simple layout for demo purposes the idea was um, you get guys coming into a base, if they get caught, the alarm goes off. So I've got this loudspeaker, which you can find in props. And I've got a helipad here just so I know where the trigger is. And I'm just going to run in there to set the alarm off for demo purposes. So let's go and look for some clips. So the first place I try for custom sounds is freesound.org you will have to sign up it is free um, I think you just need a email address so I'll put a link in the description and what we're going to do is just search so just search whatever you're looking for and you'll get pretty close and then you might have to tweak the, the search results but uh, so we're going to go base alarm see what we get so I've just shown you that you've got all these sort of clips and you can sort of try them. So I've actually spent a bit of time and gone through here and found the exact clip that I wanted to use. So just to save time for demo purposes, what we're going to do is just look at this one. So if that's the one you wanted, you just click on it and then you go to download sound and that's that simple it will download to your hard drive now don't worry about what um file type it is it, it doesn't matter because the editing program we're going to use will just convert it anyway so just pick the sound you want download it and then we're ready to do some editing so the audio editing software i use is called audacity it's free to use um, and again I'll put a link in the description so you can go ahead and download it for yourself. Now what we're going to do is open that file that we've just downloaded. Open, obviously I'm opening the one I found. And if you get this message just say yes, it's basically saying do you want to convert the Audacity project to the beats per minute of the, the clip that you've downloaded. So yes we do and I'll play the clip that was kind of the thing I had in my mind and I was lucky enough to find it um, obviously it's only one bleep so we need a couple more um, so what we're going to do is go up here and just zoom out so we can see what we're doing Go to select all, edit copy, and then with this little selection tool selected, I'm just going to click towards the end of the track. And using my arrow keys, left and right, I'm just going to go to the end of the track and then edit paste. So now I've got two blips. So let's see what that sounds like. Go to the Back to the start. Okay, so that sounds great, but for me, the gap in between the two blips um, is just a bit too long. So, undo the paste. 
and still with our selection tool I'm just going to trim this unnecessary um, emptiness at the end so you can zoom into the wave you see the wave file and I can see right down here the end of it is this little blip here so I'm just going to click on that go past the end and press delete so now I've just shortened it got rid of the unnecessary delay so if we go back to select all edit copy still selected click at the end and paste and then I'm going to do it again go to the end and paste so now I've got three blips in a row so I'm just going to leave it like that for demo but obviously in a real world situation you'd probably want it several blips long now you can save the project and I would recommend saving the project I've already done it so I'm not going to bother this time um, save the project just means if you ever want to come back and tweak something maybe you wanted to add some more effects to it or add a couple of more blips to it you haven't got to go through all this again so good idea to save the project but just for demo we're going to export it so file export audio and then just call it whatever you want so call it bass underscore siren I think uh, the default format is mp3 so what we want to do is go and click on OGG so that's what Armour uses so format OGG the audio options make sure it's on stereo I believe it is for default anyway and export range entire project again I think it's that by default so export that I've obviously already done it so I'm not going to export it um, I could just call it to just so you can see exporting then we can close the project down so we're now in our demo mission folder and as you can see as well as the SQM file we've got two additions here so we need these two in place to be able to call up the sounds within the armor editor so the first one we've got sounds folder we created and in there is the edited sound clip so bass siren.ogg so any extras just stick them in the sounds folder and then we'll look at the description ext now the only bit you really need is this bit here the bit above it i've just put there for your benefit as a, a reminder or a bit of a guide so if we go through it add the following to a trigger or a script so speaker one say 3d bass siren so in our demo that loudspeaker i've called speaker one and then bass siren is what the sound clips called so if we go down to the sound clips now so class sounds and the sounds we're going to use is bass siren so this is what i've called it so this is what we'll use in armor so class bass siren so now we're defining this one here name bass si underscore siren i've just called it the same as the actual file itself so bass underscore siren dot ogg these bits here i would just leave them like that for now when you get comfortable adding sounds you can then go through these values and play about with them if you wanted to add another sound clip in you just copy from there to there paste and let's say it's a second siren so we'll just pretend that it's siren 2 so I'm just going to add 2 to everything at the moment and what you do is you go up here comma base siren 2 so the same now we've got two sounds to play with in editor this is defining the first one this is defining the second one okay so but we'll just stick with the one for now
Okay, so that's it. What I'll do um, is I'll put both these files into a zip folder and into my Dropbox and I'll put a link in the description just so you can get going with these. And now we'll just look at Armour and the sounds working in Armour. So we're now in the editor and the loudspeaker, as I said, is called speaker one. If we look at the trigger, it's a simple trigger activated by any player present, repeatable just so I can keep testing it. Um, and then on activation, we've got that little line that I had in the description. So speaker one, say 3D and bass siren is the sound clip. Let's see it working. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll obviously put all the necessary in the description for you to download, have a look at in your own time. All right, good luck.